All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be doing another heirloom tier list video for Apex 2022 edition. So this video, pay attention to the date because if you guys are watching way in the future, it might not have certain heirlooms. Now we've done, now we've actually done one of these videos uh, about last year, but I think there's been quite a number of new additions since then. So let's just start. We're not going to start in chronological order per se, and I am going to include the heirloom shards and the uh, bloodhound uh, heirloom skin thing um because i guess technically those are heirlooms right mythic heirlooms let's start with the bloodhound or sorry the bangalore kukri blades now i feel like last time i ranked them as s they are quite good but i feel like i i as time went on i feel like my opinion has changed a little bit especially with the new additions in the game so i'm gonna put the bangalore uh, Kukri at A. It's got amazing animations, it's got amazing sound effects, really like it, very clean overall. Um, same with the Bloodhound Axe. I think the Bloodhound Axe is pretty classic. It's small, it, it's got like, it's kind of out of the way, so you're not really, it's not really in your screen, and it's, it's clean. It's like exactly what you expect for Bloodhound. It does have a really nice twirl animation as well when you're running around. The Caustic Hammer, huh. I really, really like this one. It's a personal, it's a personal favorite, but I don't know if people, other people like it very much. You know what I mean? So, but I think, I think if it's my, if it's gonna be my tier list video, I figured it sh I should, I, I should be able to be the one to, 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 to rank this. So if for me personally, it's gotta be an S tier. I mean, it's probably one of my favorite heirlooms just cause of who it's on. Caustic is probably one of my favorite characters as well. Next up, one of the new additions we have uh, is the Crypto Heirloom, the Crypto B1 Blade, I believe it was called. Now this one um, has amazing sound effects. I think if not one of the best sound effects. And I love the running animation that it has where you kind of like run around like your, your Genji. I would say it's an A tier level heirloom. Most of these heirlooms are pretty solid, by the way. So, uh, so far we're kind of filling out the top end, though I, I'm sure we'll get to a few that are, uh, <laughs> uh <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, uh, Gibraltar's uh, axe. Is this an axe? I don't even know. It's like a club. The Gibraltar club, I think when it was first revealed, people weren't happy about it, but it's got some really cool particle effects that I really enjoy. Um, the animations are cool. I think it's I think it's a solid heirloom. I don't know if it is as clean as the um, A tier one, so I'd probably, if I could, it'd probably be like B and a half. But we'll just put it at B for now, kind of like smack in the middle. Lifeline drumsticks. Now, these were I think the second heirloom that I got. I liked them, but. <sighs> They're unique. Let's just put it that way. You know, they're not a weapon necessarily. They're not like a sword or a spear or an axe or a hammer. These are these are just plain old like you know futuristic drumsticks. The only problem with this this thing, and I think this kind of extends to heirlooms in general, is like there's a there's a finisher where Lifeline knocks someone out with the drum with the drumstick, and they don't use the skin for the heirloom if you have it, which kind of bums me out. And I feel like heirlooms in general should have their own finisher, but that's just for a separate thing. These, these are nice. I, they're not bad, but they're not my favorite. Um, I'd probably put it with like Gibraltar's um, club. Yeah, probably Gibraltar's club. Maybe it. Yeah, uh, might be a C, maybe a C or a B. I, I have a hard time deciding. If I could, I'd do like B and a half, but that'd just be too many denominations. We'll put it at C for now. C isn't bad. I think anything above like C, like C and above is is, is good. But I, yeah, I think hmm, if I could put it here, uh, we'll just we'll just put that C for now. We can we can adjust that later. Next up is the Mirage Trophy. Now, <sighs> Mirage as a character, like in the game, isn't my favorite personality i think he's cool i'm glad they, they he shows up in the cinematics he's always the comic relief guy but i'm kind of bummed that well actually honestly i don't even know what his heirloom could have been i think i think like the heirloom artwork itself like the execution was really good as good as it could be but i think just the concept i'm just like eh, i'm not in love with it but then again i couldn't even think of anything better myself 
So that being said, the trophy, it's got a cool, it's, it's cool, I guess. It's cool looking, you know, it's kind of silly, but I think it's going to have to go into F for me. If we're going to talk about, you know, most favorite to least favorite heirlooms, um, unless you're like a diehard Mirage player, I, I think I'd get this one last. Um, it's, I think the art team did a good job with it. It's just like, I think Mirage is a tough one to, to make cosmetics for. Even, honestly, even like skin wise, I don't think Mirage gets that many cool skins. That just might be like, I just think his theme is kind of hard to work with. Um, the Octane, uh, the Octane Switchblade. It's a Switchblade uh, folding scissor knife or what? Oh, Jesus, I, someone's going to call me out on this, but a flip, flip knife? Is that what these are called? So this one's pretty neat because it has like the little, I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's got like a little needle on the other end and you can, um, you know, it, it has an animation where like he injects himself with his, with his drugs. This one... This one's pretty clean. I, I would say Octane's one of the most popular characters, and I haven't seen that many people complain about it. The animations are sick. I believe they hired, they mo-capped, I think, someone actually spinning a one of these kind of knives, and they and that's how they got the animation down. Um, I would say it's an A-tier one. Definitely one of the more desirable uh, heirlooms out there. Pathfinder's gloves. Now... I don't know. I think Pathfinder should have gotten like a grapple, um, like a grapple uh, gun for his heirloom, and then have a custom like grappling animation where he shoots, where he shoots the grapple gun. I think that would have been way cooler than the 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 boxing gloves. The whole boxing thing with Pathfinder doesn't make too much sense to me, anyways. Maybe people who are super well versed in the lore can 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 enlighten me. Maybe he was a boxer back in the day. But um, yeah, the whole these these gloves look cool. They they I think they definitely look. Um, futuristic and nice, but for me, I'm not a huge fan. I think it will go into C tier for me. Maybe C or F. I think I think C. I think they're better than the Mirage Trophy, but probably about the same as the Lifeline. The Wrench, the Rampart Wrench. Now this one is quite unassuming, and Rampart as a character isn't played terribly much, though arguably she did get quite a number of buffs in last since last year, and. As a character, she's definitely better. As an heirloom, I think it is... It fits Rampart. She's a mechanic, you know, it kind of fits her style. And the animations are pretty cool. It's kind of, it's not like super like shiny and new, like the, um, you know, like, like some of the other heirlooms, but it is kind of got that like rustic tool that, you know, she would actually use. So I, I don't know, I quite like this one. Um, I would say B. I would say it's a, it's a fair, it's a fair, fair rating. You know, it's, it's kind of like, you know, B, B plus. You know, up here. Wraith, uh, sorry, not Wraith. Uh, Revenant's Scythe. Now this one, I think was pretty sick. The the Scythe is, was incredible. The animations, the sound, I think the Revenant Scythe is an amazing heirloom. I would put this at S, I would say. Revenant as a character isn't too popular, but I think the heirloom itself fits him, fits his theme. I, I like it quite a lot. I would say it's S or A. We could just put in S for now. The Valkyrie heirloom. So this one's new. This is the newest one. It's really nice. Um, it it kind of it kind of rivals the scythe. I, I I would say it's probably A, A or S. You know, depending on which one you liked more. Um, dang. I don't know. I I, I don't want to like fill up the S and A tier so much. But honestly, most of the heirlooms are pretty solid. I would say I would say it's an we'll, we'll put an S and we can readjust later. It's it's really nice. I, I really really like the uh, the, the Valkyrie one. Next up we have Watson Watson's like pricing gun. A lot of people didn't like this one. A lot of people didn't like this one. I really like this one though. Like I I don't know why. It's just so nice. I don't know. It's just it's just nice. I it just fits like. Looking at the device, it looks clunky and like awkward, but like that's kind of Watson's personality and like some of the animations like she almost drops it, which is hilarious. And um, I don't know, I, I, I quite like the pricing gun and I think it also has a unique um, door kick animation as well. So I would rate this at, a, at, at an A tier. Probably my favorite, oops, that's a B. I would say probably my favorite of the A's. Um, yeah, personally, I would say it's my favorite of the A's. We should, we should probably arrange it too by this. So. This is the right order. I would say I like Rampart's thing a little bit more than Gibraltar's thing. Octane's knife. Yeah, we'll put it like this. And then maybe like this. 
Yeah, so S, this is like best to worst, if you want to read it that way. Next up, we have the uh, classic heirloom, the very first heirloom, Wraith's Knife. And this thing is not flashy at all. It's, in fact, probably the most simplistic of them, but it's so clean. You know, if you play Wraith, if you main Wraith, you gotta have this heirloom. And it's actually, it was one of the hardest heirlooms to get um, because you couldn't get in a collection event. That being said, the animations are pretty, I don't know, I think I think they're due for a, um, the animations are, are due for an upgrade, I'd, I'd say. Uh, but it is very clean, very simple. I think it captures what an heirloom should be, you know? Um, that being said, I think, I would say it's an S tier, just for like its historical significance because of how many people love it. If it was like released today, it would probably be like an A or B tier one, but just because it was like the first one, and it's the one that like everyone knows it's like the heirloom i would say it's an s tier one now this one was super controversial the bloodhound prestige skin i don't know if they're ever gonna do any more of these because of how much of a community backlash there was though and I imagine if respawn sell sold a lot of them they'd do it again i bought it just to uh, unbox it and i quite liked it i think the design was cool and i like the concept of like an, uh, uh, a skin that like upgraded it as you played I think that's really neat. I think that's something I always wanted. I just didn't expect it to be in this form. I thought it would be like a battle pass, like a battle pass thing or something that will like change as you get more kills on it. Not the evolving stuff that you see in the current battle pass, but something that like had a big kill counter like um, like this one. Um, oh, it's not this. This one's based off da uh, damage, I think, not kills. Anyway, so this one has three forms and I'm glad they, they experimented and did this, but I just don't know if it would match up to a lot of these heirlooms i would say it's probably like a c uh, b or c tier like i would i would probably want it over like bloodhounds um pathfinders gloves i don't know if, i i don't know if i would choose it over any of the anything else it is cool though i'm glad i have it but if i had to pick it over something else i'd probably put it around c now the last thing is the heirloom shards now these uh were introduced i think last year or year, no maybe one or two years ago so that like when you unbox an heirloom pack, you aren't just given a random heirloom, you're given the shards and you can use the shards to buy uh, what you wanted. So it kind of helped trim down uh, on people getting an heirloom they didn't want. That being said, it's not terribly exciting. I mean, it's like just like the money, the currency. Um, it's I would say it's probably B. I mean, it's, it's like, cool, we got it. You know, it's it should be S, right? It should be S because because it means like you can get anything, but I don't know. I probably shouldn't have even included this. I don't even know how to rank this. Maybe maybe we should even rank it. Maybe we should even be here. You know, maybe it should just be. Oh, I can't even take it off anymore. Oh, no. Oh, no. I guess technically it should be an S. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed my tier list. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Is this a pretty accurate uh, description of what you guys think as to what is the best heirloom? Do you guys agree? Disagree? And uh, yeah, as you can see, most of these heirlooms are, you know, A, S, and B. You know, these are all pretty, I mean, I, I would say most heirlooms are pretty solid. All the heirlooms that aren't solid, I think the execution is done well. It's just like the concept isn't really my thing. But hope you guys enjoy this one and I'll see y'all next time.